it's been a long road, but Rotocraft manufacturer Leonardo is making steady progress towards the certification of the AW609, the first civil tilt rotor. Like the V-22 Osprey it is descended from, the twin rotor aircraft has had an extended gestation period. In 1998, Leonardo, then known as Augusta, joined with Bell on the project. In 2011, it bought out Bell to bring the 609 entirely in-house. When we took ownership of the aircraft, uh, it wasn't just about a branding operation to change a BA-609 in, 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 into the AW-609. We really took um, a very comprehensive look at where the design uh, and the maturity of the aircraft and systems and capabilities that that design was going to have. And a lot of critical thinking went into that. And what we decided and, and embarked upon a whole new development program. And so the AW-609 is truly a new aircraft. Since then, the airframer has flown and tested four of the tilt rotors. The fifth unit, or P-5, recently rolled off the production line at its U.S. production facility in Philadelphia. That aircraft will be used for indirect effect of lightning tests prior to its first flight later this year. Aircraft 5, the first production aircraft, during its assembly, we're also verifying um, that assembly sequence, that production sequence, to get that certification as well. So we're taking the extra time now uh, for those functional test protocols that we have to do to ensure that repetition uh, that's needed for certification on the production side, right, is that muscle memory they want to see on each uh, phase of production, so you have repeatability. Assembly and U.S. flight testing for the 609 will soon migrate to a nearby 32,000 square foot former corporate aircraft storage hangar that was recently acquired by the company and will be dedicated solely to the tilt rotor program. Our facility here uh, is really streamlined for helicopter uh, assembly here, so the 609 with its fixed wing uh, just is a little, little more of a challenge here. So we're going to be moving um, production over in that new building. During a recent visit to the site by AIN, AC-6, the first delivery aircraft destined for launch customer Bristow, was seen on the production line, awaiting the mating of its wing to the fuselage. It has since been joined there by the airframe of AC-7. We still haven't nailed down the final price, thinking between 20 and 30 million. Uh, order books we don't share, but I can share with you, uh, we have tremendous interest across all the mission sets I mentioned, uh, VIP and corporate, uh, search and rescue, EMS, uh, as well as offshore uh, energy exploration uh, around the world. Sonic declined to set any estimates on when certification would be achieved, but in the meantime, Leonardo's flight testing program continues to set milestones. For AIN, I'm Kurt Epstein. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.